Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dawn of Man episode one. I am Unite the Clans. This is a live series. So if you are catching me live, no need to keep up with the, the chat or necessarily talk while I'm playing. You can just sit, sit back and let me keep you company in the mornings. I'm planning for the next couple of weeks at least to put together maybe a dozen or so live episodes of this game. And it is a game that is not yet out. It is coming out in March of this year. And I am lucky enough to have access to it now. I have been watching one of my favorite content creators play the game. And he is having a ton of fun with it. It seems to be one of those special games that can kind of hook your attention has a bit of a magical feel to it and we are going to be playing it together if you are watching the replay be sure to let me know in the comments what you think uh, of the game uh, because the live stuff people comment less because so many of you guys watch it live and if you're tuning in to catch me this morning get ready we'll be doing this most mornings for the next little while we'll see about the weekends but um, uh, for most of the mornings to come we, couple of weeks we'll keep this series going it's a great way to, for me to get my day started and uh, hopefully for you to get your day started as well so without any further ado let's dive into dawn of man if at any point you find yourself enjoying it click the like button and if you're new and you want more dawn of man content go ahead and subscribe uh, we're going to click new game and we're going to begin right here so i am going to turn up the background audio here in a second so I've been watching Corallus. Corallus is now on Northlands, which is uh, you have to get five milestones. So hunting and gathering, Acc accumulate some raw meat. Survival, survive for two years. Okay. Humble beginnings, reach the Mesolithic era, uh, which is Stone Age still. Uh, get 20 people in your settlement. Unlock all Neolithic founder crops. Animal control, get 10 domesticated animals. Megalomania, build a stone circle. That is a prehistoric monolith, one of, a megalith, one of the things that our ancestors were great at. Stonehenge, for example. Like, that's technically not from the Stone Age, but that, that kind of a thing. Metal alloy, reach the Bronze Age. Riddle of steel, unlock steel making tech and consolidation. So we want to get at least five of these, and if we're up for it and you guys enjoy it, then in the future we can go on to another series, Northlands, and eventually in the near future we will be able to do Ancient Warriors, which looks like we are well into the Bronze Age, maybe even a medieval era. I see swords, shields, bows, arrows, uh, but at the very beginning we take over the most basic of humans. So we are going to begin here, Continental Dawn, Riverside 1, Riverside 2, Lakeside 1, River Fork, or Lakeside 2. So, game mode, no we're going to go with normal. There is like a hardcore mode, I believe. Yes, we're going to go with normal mode. Is there an easy? No. Okay. Uh, okay. And we're going to uh, just go with a Korag. We'll go with the base name. Let's go ahead and choose River Fork. And I hope this is a good choice. Grow and evolve your settlement from the Paleolithic to the Iron Age. About 12,000 years ago, the last glacial period had just ended. This made most of the continental Europe a lot easier to inhabit. Human populations thrived and the Neolithic Revolution started. Let us begin. Boom. All right, guys, so this game has many aspects to it. Um, the, the main goal is to build a, a thriving colony, to uh, build it up. Oh. Dawn of Man is not responding. Wait for the program to respond. Indeed. Use work areas in conjunction with... Re okay, perfect. Well, we're going to try and automate things, micromanage as little as possible. I see several of you saying hello and good morning. Hello to all of you. Welcome. Uh, hopefully you are going to enjoy this series. I am excited for it. I like having a little variety and uh, having some different challenges ahead of me. And this is a very different style of game than Atlas or Ark Survival Evolved. It's a... Well, I wouldn't call it a city builder, but a colony builder. So we're going to begin with uh, maybe a half dozen basic humans, and we are going to, how many? Seven basic humans. Is that right? Yep. And we are going to build up from our starting point. So one thing I am going to do uh, at the beginning, this is the same setup we had yesterday. So I'm going to actually see about getting rid of these huts and building a couple huts that will uh, suit us so we can build a colony. This is the same location we started in yesterday, perhaps. Um, so it's a colony builder. We set up and we build a small colony here on the banks of this forked river. We hunt, we craft resources, uh, craft tools and clothing. And these are the things we hunt. For example, this is a cave bear and I can focus camera in on it and we can check it out. Very cool. So we got to be, oh, look at this big bastard. Hello, you handsome fool. All right. 
All right, so let's get out of here and let's go check out our humans. I need to put them to work as soon as possible. So they are going to deconstruct these. We're going to head into the building tab and we will go build residence tent and we'll maybe start we'll start a little series of huts right over here so if i rotate this one around until it faces us and then i think we only need two but we'll build three to start uh and maybe like that and we want this to look aesthetically pleasing as well i think that's one of my goals Is that in line there? Or is this in line? I think that, right? Okay, so hopefully those are all in line with each other. We'll deconstruct these. We'll have a crafting and cooking area down here. That is a hearth where we can bake bread. This is a crafting station where we can make uh, biface tools. So we'll make three of those and we'll make three wooden spears to put our people to work. We'll make a wooden harpoon for fishing and we'll go see if any of our people start with tools. So we've got uh, clothing. Uh, oops, pardon me. We've got a child. Okay, we didn't have children last time. This guy starts with a biface, which means he can... Okay, and this person starts with wooden spears and fishing. Okay, so if we go ahead here, we can take this guy and put him to work right here, fishing. So he will get some food for us. You have a spear? You, do, you indeed have a spear, and you can harvest. So why don't we find some prey for you? There is a cool thing if we click off Jirak. Uh, I think I just sent him here. Uh, and we can go Primal Vision. So with Primal Vision, we're able to look around our environment, see what's around here. You can see, for example, this bear is in red. That means we are not prepared to hunt it. Uh, we want to find something in green, like this. That is a warthog, or an old, old, old male bear. Old male boar is what I meant to say. Uh, so I'm going to go find Jirak, who was one of the early hunters. He was this guy? Yeah, uh, well, that's Vyrie. That's She's a female she can come over here and hunt this boar all right and then we're also going to set up if i can remember how we're going to set up the uh, gathering zones so place a work area gather sticks and there are a few areas you can see where sticks are plentiful We've got lots over here so maybe let's start with this basic location here they will put these people into a sort of a work pile or sorry a, a resource pile we're also going to need flint now where is flint plentiful? All right, let's swing the camera around. We'll see if there is flint right nearby our camp. There should be. If not, we've chosen a really bad starting location. Here's a little flint. Are there two within range? There are not. So let's just go ahead and do that for now. And that should automate. So once those are built, I'm going to be able to uh, put people to work on them. No storage slots left. Okay, interesting. And we have no flint. No problem. And then we have hunting. A hunting zone and a fishing zone. So the fishing zone I can put right there, I think. And that will put people to work fishing without me having to do it manually. All right. And we'll settle in. We'll see if we can get a hang for this, guys. So we start with five wooden spears, five knives, which are the biface knives, raw skin, sticks, fishing tools. This The skin gets crafted automatically into uh, clothing with warmth and style. I'm not sure what the purpose of style is. That's a crafter. Okay, so we now have a tent. It can occupy three people. We're going to build a few more. And once the those resource gathering areas are set up, here is one right here. I can go ahead and put, say, three people to work on sticks. And where did I put the actual f flag for this resource area? Ah, right here. Okay. So, and then we can put two people to work on this. And I will put one person to work on the fishing, which I think already is the case. So that's Marin, an adult female. Let's zoom in and, and we'll, we'll have a look. I'm going to have to explore the game with you guys and learn as I play. So if you guys are watching, <laughs> if you guys are watching uh, the me live, feel free to offer tips and tricks. But most of you haven't had a chance to play the game yet. But maybe you've watched other content creators and you have some ideas of how they how to play. Um, 
we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out together, guys. Um, but if you do have any tips and tricks uh, in the comments or live, be sure to let me know. I will take all your advice, and we will uh, we will get ourselves to work. We will build up this basic colony. Eventually, guys, it will have walls. It will be protected against uh, invaders from other tribes. And uh, yeah, for those of you popping in, to, some of you popping in just to say hello, welcome. And some of my longtime viewers, I see uh, Turtle. Tonka, Mr. McBonkers, Lurker Luke, a few of you guys, welcome to the stream. And if I missed saying hello to you, hello. Hello to all of you. Ooh, eagle. What is this? Can I click on you? Doesn't look like an eagle. An eagle wouldn't flap its wings so much. All right, and now we've got rain coming down. We have no flint. Okay, well, we ought to be gathering some flint. Maybe we look for a second flint gathering location, and I place another one of these uh, work areas. Okay, so here is some over here. So why don't we do one here? And hopefully there's nothing too deadly in this forest. We'll go to this one and we'll reduce the number of people. And then we'll go find the flag I just placed in the forest. Uh, or not. Yeah, right here. And we'll make sure... We're, okay, it starts with one person. Excellent. Okay, so that should gather that flint. We should gather this flint. They're coming back with some. I didn't follow up with the hunter. Did she successfully subdue that boar? Is this her? Viri. Okay, coming back with raw skin, bones, and I imagine there's some meat from the boar somewhere over here, depending on where she killed it. We'll figure it out, guys. Uh, for those of you watching live it, and the replay, it'll be a little bit of a slow pace while I learn the game. Why don't we, while we're doing this, have a look at some of our other things? We've got manage... Help game menu. Where did I find research yesterday? Um, manage. Okay. Text? Right. Okay. So, we need these. Available knowledge points to be able to unlock anything. We need at least five to get those going. So, what can we do to unlock more knowledge points? Let's see if we can figure that out. So, bone tools. Not one we did last time. Dog domestication. All right, that's fantastic. So that requires five knowledge, and once you learn that dog domestication, you can get goat domestication, sheep domestication, pig domestication, and cattle domestication, which would move us towards one of those achievements that we are attempting to accomplish. So that's Varagalk, an old male. One of the cool things you can do in this game, guys, zoom right in and check out our people as they work. It's a very, it's one of the things I love about games like this. I love to be able to zoom in and see these people in high detail. Uh, it really makes all the difference in the world. I really missed that playing. Uh, okay, there you go. Ten sticks acquired plus one knowledge point. So when I played Frostpunk last year on the channel, that was one of the things I missed, is the ability to like really follow in on a person-by-person -person basis and see what's what. So we're going to have to do some building here in a second. I don't know if we're ready for it, but uh, storage, uh, we have a storage tent uh, to store and preserve resources. Okay, so we can certainly build one of those. A wood pile. Now, what is this? We've already got one of those. They auto-built that, or they crafted that themselves. Okay. Or that started here, maybe. So, and then production is very important. We've already got a hearth. We've already got a crafter. The skins dryer is something we are going to need. Uh, and we'll probably need at least a couple of them. This allows us to turn skins into leather, I believe, was the, the gist of it. So, we'll find a good spot to put these. Maybe, um... We'll have sort of a whole crafting area down here. So we'll put one here, and we'll build a second one. So some of these things, if I'm not mistaken, guys, building, say, three of them gives us a uh, gives us knowledge points. I don't know exactly how many, uh, but if we go like so, we'll have two of the skins dryers. We have the crafter. We'll add one of those storage huts in here as well. And we don't want to overwhelm our people with too many tasks to start to start things out. Um, but I want to make I want to make sure we have an attractive, good-looking uh, town. Town. I don't think the word town comes into common parlance for a long time. <laughs> uh, from where we are, we're at like twelve thousand BC, or twelve thousand years ago, so ten thousand BC. All right. So why don't we try tucking it in right behind our huts like this? Okay. So beginning to construct. Beginning to construct things. Uh, 
Uh, now, how are we doing for food and stuff? We're good on fish. We have a decent amount of raw meat. We probably don't need to send any hunters out. No storage slots left. Is that for the wood pile, I wonder? Or does that mean once we have this built? All right, let's let our people do some work. Let's switch to fast forward mode. We do have to make it two full years to get one of the basic achievements. So we're going to have to go through, this is summer, I think. We'll have to go through fall, winter, and we'll have to do that a couple of times. And for anyone asking how I'm doing, I'm doing very well. Um, I decided to skip the face cam. Um, I was just watching Corrales, and I think sometimes it's nice to have like a disembodied voice. Well, I, it depends. You have to like my voice, but yeah, then you get this, this whatever, the ASMR effect that people like of just listening to a listening to a voice while they watch a video game. And my morning voice is a little bit on the harsh side. It's a little bit on the low rumbly side, so... This game is quiet right now. Hopefully you guys can hear it okay. Maybe I gotta turn some things up. Let me know how it is. Can you hear the rain a little bit? Uh, so, oh, options. Where, where would game options be? Help, game menu. No, that's not it. Help, game speed. Well, I don't think I have control over it. <laughs> uh-huh. Topics, knowledge. Okay. Uh, you can earn knowledge points in the game by achieving various goals. Larger population, different types of structures, hunting different types of animals, acquiring different resources, killing raiders, unlocking milestones, and surviving years. Okay. So this means we have a lack of logs? I'm not too worried about it. How come you have no clothing, sir? Why we got a naked guy? What is this? We don't we don't need this this kind of chaos. Who are you? Horak, an adult male. Let's get this man some clothing. Okay, we should be crafting it here out of skins. Constant production. We have a good supply of spears and knives. Okay, so I don't need to do that. Fishing tools. We could probably make one more of those. And, okay, so, I, you know what? I think I gotta put more people to work on stick gathering. So let's go ahead and we'll put a fourth person on that. Let's see maybe about getting a couple of hunters. Can you guys both hunt? You two skin dryers. You two naked fellas. You can both hunt. So if I select you both and put you to work on hunting something new. I will not hunt a horse. You guys would hate me. So we already killed a boar. Let's go primal vision mode. And let's see what else is out here that we could kill. Okay. Oh, look at this. So that is some kind of tiger. We want to be very careful sending our people out that way. That is a horse. Let's check across the river here and see what sort of easy prey might be available. Not much in the easy prey department. Oh, I don't want to send them so far in order to get things. We might have to kill a horse. <laughs> Alright, I'll figure it out. We'll kill one horse. Don't, I won't let you see it. <laughs> Good morning, Jay. Thank you for tuning in. Jay was in my stream last night, guys. Playing some Atlas. It was not my smoothest, uh... It was not the smoothest of streams. So our people are busy building. I gave them a lot of building projects to start, so we might as well uh, fast forward again. But I do want to follow our two hunters that are setting off after. So we have Marin, who's an adult female. We need the hide to make clothing. So why don't we zoom in on Marin, and we'll watch her do the hunting along with her friend here. Their spears do not look very deadly, do they? Those do not look like the best weapons in the world. Okay, okay, running? Why running? No sneaking? You guys don't sneak? Okay, here they go. Oh, it's a horse, that's why. That is the most deadly, durable horse of all time. If they don't kill it... Oh, what a shot! What a fantastic shot, guys. Okay. So, if we leave now, let's see. Are you heading to harvest this? Yes, you are. Okay, fantastic. So, what will we get from the horse? We will get four meat, two skin, two bone. And I know, guys, wild horse 
you don't want to do that, but we got plus one knowledge point. I won't kill more horses, okay? That was the last one we'll kill. Uh, now, let's go back to primal mode, and I want to see where I'm sending my people. I'm sending my people out here to gather. We've got a cave lion and a cave bear. The bear, I don't know how aggressive these things are, but we're going to have to be careful, right? Uh, or we're going to have to send a huge number of people out when it comes time to go after them. Uh, we've got a whole tribe of young boars, so hopefully that's that's enough for this these, these cave bears and stuff to keep busy. In the normal version of the game mode uh, that we're in now, you do not have to worry too much about... Uh, when you when you hit the tab in the primal mode, you actually pause the game. In the hardcore version of the mode, you do not. Um, that's that's what Corallus is doing now. He's doing the winter one, and he's doing hardcore mode. So I'm intrigued. Hello, Alex89. Thank you for the subscribing. Bendo. I don't know how many of you subscribed during today, but if those three of you subscribed, welcome. You all subscribed in the last half hour. I just don't know what was due to Dawn of Man. Some of you might be some of you might be watching ARC videos right now or Atlas videos and subscribing. So Alright. So we gotta see how we're doing on the construction front. We need three more dry skin. So skins dryer. Currently has two raw skins on it. This one has none. So we're gonna have to get somebody to do that. I wonder if I gotta take people off the stick gathering for the moment. Let's go back down to three. And let's go, let's go over here to this flag. And let's just take, let's put nobody on. Oh. Remove the work area for now. Okay, so that's no cost to us. We'll go find the other flint gathering area, which was somewhere out here. Unless it's gone. Oh, it is gone. Well, crap. All right, let's, let's find some flint that is not so deadly to get to. Right over here, there's only one pile. All right, so lots of resources uh, around the map, and the map is absolutely huge. There's a m m massive size to this thing. Okay, so that actually, actually the best one we can get to is this one over here. Okay, so we'll have to put we'll have to put a couple of people on this, and hopefully they can they can survive. If not, we'll go send people out in force, and we'll kill the cave lion and the cave bear. Um, Hopefully, people won't like if I kill bears either, will you? <laughs> the horse sound is super weird, like the, like trying to make horse sounds out of screeching tires. <laughs> That's a mouflon. We can hunt that next. That's pretty good. And here's our guy. Here's uh, Veragalk coming back with meat and bone from the horse hunt. We've got, okay, there's some flint just over here, so that will be the next area we go to. I should have somebody fishing. I don't see anyone, and I don't see either of these skins going, so let's go fast forward and let these people do some work for a minute. Dry in their skins, awesome. No storage slots left for sticks. That's fine, let's spend them, let's put them to work. So seven knives, seven spears means everyone has those. I wonder if I should also get the fishing implements going. We'll do at least one more of those. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just heard a terrible noise. Okay. Okay. What is happening? Oh, there's two cave bears here. Adult male, an adult male. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, they would not be tribing together necessarily, uh, or hanging together. And then they just killed a boar. Good. As long as it's not one of my humans, I'm happy. And then what happened to the boar? What happened to that little... What is the name for a group of boars? Somebody on the stream let me know. There's a crash of rhinos, a murder of crows, a... I don't know what the, all the various ones are, but... Okay, look at all the wildlife over here. All right, so there's... It's p pretty plentiful. And now, cave lions are now yellow, which means we are a little bit more prepared to take on a cave lion. The one that was here seems to have moved on, probably due to the large bears. So we don't have to worry about it. And if we do have to take on bears, we might have to take on two at once, which is not ideal. 
So let's get out of primal vision mode. And um, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this game uh, probably for an hour or so at a time in the mornings. I would think. All right, so pending requires one leather. We've got one, one dry skin, pardon me. That requires one dry skin. So those are both almost done. Uh, we should have dry skin coming up here and here. Perfect, this one is dry, it just needs to be harvested. And these guys are just staying warm. Or are they cooking meat? They're probably cooking the meat. Indeed they are. Okay, how do you, I think we need to build the thing for curing meat. I don't want to necessarily add to hearth. Campfire for cooking and baking, skins dryer, and a crafter. Food dryer, requires food drying as a research. So let's see if we're on track for that. Spiritual, a skull pole, a structure in memory of the dead. Oh, cool. Okay, we'll build one of these in a, in, at some point here. Let's take a look at the research then. Game menu, that's not it. Manage. Tech. All right, we now have the five points. So why don't we unlock food drying? I think that is probably a wise one. That will let our food last longer. It will uh, survive throughout winter production. And we will build a food dryer. Really? I'd like to build it right next to this. Why not? I guess because you get an axe. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's put that in then. Okay, and this is coming together. Let's zoom in on, on one of the people. And we'll check out the progress. Look at the detail in that, guys. That is really... I like this. They do not have to add this much detail. They don't have to show the people... They, these people could just be swinging hammers, you know what I mean? Like most games. You don't not actually have to show them stitching things together and the, the bits coming on. Oh, yeah. This is fantastic. I love it so far. Now, most of these people very poorly clothed. This guy looks fantastic. He looks like a total hippie. All right, sticks up the outside to weigh down the skins. Ropes uh, over the skins and stones at the bottom. It's a great looking little building. Um, and as we advance, guys, we're gonna go into the Bronze Age, Iron Age, and thank you. Thank you, Does I, I did manage to get those, uh, those spent, and we spent them on food drying. So food drying unlocked, uh, first structure, storage tent, knowledge plus one. I imagine a second food dryer will be good for us. Uh, or a third skin dryer, but we don't really need the third skin dryer right now. Um, we probably need to go hunting. So let's let's bring up primal vision mode, and let's see. We've got a boar. Okay, I can send somebody to harvest this, can't I? That's a child. Don't send the child. This is bear country. All right, so why don't you harvest that bear-killed boar, and we'll go find a couple of builders. Well, maybe once this this hut is done, we'll, we'll have one, two, three hunters. Maybe we take down a bear. Oh, okay. We have a, a female child as well. So let's take three hunters. Let's go primal vision mode. Okay, there is a lion here still. And there are two bears. I don't think we're ready for the lion, are we? We've already killed a boar. I'd rather not do that again. I'd rather keep unlocking new new creatures for us to kill. Now, over here, more boars. A little mouflon. But you got to get through bear country. Why are those bears orange and these ones are red? I guess maybe it's the difference between an old male and a young male. Something like that. I guess we'll just have to hunt a boar for now. We'll have to keep hunting what's close and convenient for us. So why don't you guys take this out? All right. And then soon we'll feel confident enough to take on something bigger. And we probably don't need all three of you guys. It's probably like a one-man job. One-woman job. Marin, the adult female. 
Let's check her out. Building animation is pretty cool. I agree. I really, I, I don't know. I got a good feel for this game. It seems like it's going to be one that you guys are going to fall in love with with a little bit of time. And potentially, yeah, it's we're in the, we're still like two, three months from the game being out. So lots of time to figure this thing out, to learn it. Uh, and yeah, for new people to kind of discover us, this series did pretty great for Corrales. Um, some of his videos have 100,000 plus views. So I just, I'd be happy if some of these get to 5,000. That would be amazing. All right, so crossing the river on us. Does it know it's being stalked? It should be an easy kill if she can get to it while it's in the river. Which she will not. She's going to have to cross the river before she throws her first spear, isn't she? Swim over before you throw that spear. Otherwise, this hunt is lost. One of the things early humans had to their advantage was endurance. Uh, they called it like persistence hunting, where we would just keep chasing. And most animals will sprint and stop, and sprint and stop, and sprint and stop. Okay, now that she's over here, I wonder if we ought to go primal vision and see what else she might be able to kill. Right, this is an, a reindeer. This is the Megaloceros, and its health is very low, so maybe that's a better kill for Marin. So let's go tab, select her, and send her to kill this instead. Okay, we've got a lot of our building done. We are low on food, indeed. Okay, so let's get a couple extra hunters then. Let's get a couple extra hunters. And we will send them up here, maybe? We'll send one there. And we'll send one here. Okay. And where is our girl? Where did she end up? Oh, right here. We're low, yeah, currently we're in the middle of summer, so things are well. We have the close to high temperatures, close to the most sunlight. That will change. And we'll fast forward a little bit once we get on her. Okay. What, did she just one-shot it? Now, here's the problem. Does Marin not have the ability to uh, harvest? She should. We have enough tools for everyone. She doesn't have the ability to harvest this. Okay. So, we gotta send somebody to do that. Why would she not have a knife? We have seven knives, seven humans. Doesn't make any sense to me. Well, she might as well then kill more stuff while she is out here. Alright, and we'll go find somebody to do the butchering. Alright. Alright. All right, this person has succeeded. Can you do the harvesting? You can. So why don't we send you, now that you've succeeded, over here to harvest this. Perfect. And then when this guy is done, Viri, she can harvest both the creatures that are killed over here. Hopefully. Um, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out, guys. So we got our little crafting area. I wonder if... We'll do one more fishing implement, and we'll make sure that we have a couple of people on fishing. That will help. Uh, fishing is, like, very plentiful in the springtime. Oh, and what do we have up here now? It's fall. It is fall. Okay. And so we're at the very beginning of fall. I see. So that wasn't a sunlight meter. And those are our knowledge points. Nice. You see the whole world changing around us here, guys. Okay, so we got a couple of humans coming over here. I don't know where that wild boar went. Where? That's a Megaloceros. Oh, okay. So that's a different species than the reindeer. Cool. Okay. So those are being hunted and gathered.
Right. I don't know where his boar went, so we'll send him to gather this. He should be able to. And we should come back with a good good supply of food and stuff. I wonder, I guess we have no hunters. Is that because I'm dividing our our people too much? Potentially. I gotta learn. I gotta learn how to play the game, guys. But we'll be doing that together as we go. Uh, I think probably time to do some building. Let's let's go ahead and work on a next residence. All right. We'll do like a little cluster of six of these eventually. Perfect. Okay, raw meat, knowledge plus one. Okay, we can do another up research upgrade, which I can click right up here. So, bone tools will take us to composite tools. I think this is probably wise. Uh, bone tools will give us a better spear, better harpoon, etc. Or do we unlock dog domestication? Do we go more farming? Oh, Lord, I don't know. Only five paths to unlock. Let's do the tools. That seems smart to me. We'll do dogs after this. I like the idea of the dogs. All right. And so we got skin and meat and somebody to bring it all back. Uh, I should probably do a new stick gathering area. This one's still, actually, this one's still going. Lots of sticks, but the next one is definitely going to be up here. This has got a ton of uh, sticks. We're expanding our sort of sphere of influence as we go here. Good morning, TLC and Ashton. Welcome to the stream, guys. Um, Dawn of Man. It's autumn. Early autumn. And my people are busy working. Are you still a child? Okay, so we do put the children to work with um, some, some very basic... Uh, requirements of them all right we got Var vargeek go get this i want to make sure that we're stocked up okay we do have lots of meat now all right somebody ought to be constructing this <laughs> uh and i should probably make another one of these don't you think let's go ahead and add in another Production. I'm probably stretching us our, our, our resources too thin, but we'll do that. We've got this for storing the meat, which will make it last a lot longer. So that is good. And then once we cure it, we'll, it'll last even longer than that. So if we look over here, do we still have a couple of humans over here? Megalith. Interesting. Bears, lions. We have beach. Okay. What is this? Copper ore. Why is the copper ore that color? Oh, that's cool. All right. So resources to be gathered there and a creature to be hunted right here. Yes. Zoom in. He is old, isn't he? Did he get it? Oh, I think it eluded him. It did elude him. He's too old. You're too old, Vargeek. This winter, you're going to have to wander out into the woods and never come back. You're going to be such a burden on our society. Or will he? Or will he? He did it. Nope. Nope. Gave up. You loser. You loser. All right. Well, lessons learned. Bring some able-bodied hunters when we come come to take on that that particular stuff. Uh. There we go. I'm learning to operate the cameras. All right. So, fully clothed Girac. What are you currently doing? Fishing and Marin. We've got a couple of... Okay, we've got kids fishing, right? Oh, no. Horak and Thorin. No, they're... Okay, they're bringing stuff ashore. Interesting. 
We're getting meat and sticks from the edge of the river. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out as we play our way through it. I like how you decided to store meat right next to your people's home in a very... Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting point. That if a bear were to come, he would probably sniff in here first. I was mainly looking at it aesthetically. That building looks a lot like the houses, so I thought they would look good together. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. All right. Now, what do we require for this? Two sticks. Is that what you are bringing, Marin? Are you going to finish this job? Yes. Build this thing, Marin. Do it. Build it for us. No, oh, you wuss. Okay, one thing we should probably do at this point, guys, is set uh, auto production of spears. And I think it will stop when we hit uh, our our limit. Like the number... Oh, wait. Actually, don't. Bone spears and bo bone knives. Okay, so that's probably good. And Jirak is doing the building. Jirak looks like Jesus. He's even got like a hippie headband on. What's up, D. Burns? Welcome to the stream, my man. Okay, they, they, they look like they're a little bit more dressed for winter. Do we have many naked people left, I wonder? But very, I don't know. For for the early stages this game is in, very highly detailed ah. buildings and construction. I'm pretty into it. All right, and we're up to two knowledge points. We're going to have to keep going. Jesus was supposed to be a carpenter. Yeah, good point. Good point, Br bringing together the construction. And then what are we building here again? A new tent, which... This will give us an opportunity for new population. We currently have three, three, and three. Oh, this is the capacity. Okay, so we currently have one, two. We'll have room for five new people. So by spring, hopefully we, we can take advantage of that. I should probably tell them to... Hmm. Let's set this to a high priority at least. That way they stop putting the, the basics there. Stick gathering. Okay, so we're going to need a new stick gathering zone very soon. Uh, dry skin times 10. Another knowledge point. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. All right, you are returning, Marin. And we left a little bit of meat out here. Did we end up clearing up everything on this side of the river? I very much hope so. Okay, so we got a cave lion that has killed an ibex. We need to hunt an ibex ourselves, I think. That's kind of a fun way to do it, where you could scare the lion off its kill. I mean, that's a risky proposition. A megaloceros. What happened to it? Is it just sleeping? Go get this. No, it's dead. Okay. What is that little Z symbol? Z symbol. I don't see it on here. I, I assume it means you're tired? That's all I can imagine. Uh, but the, it's very cool. We can kind of build, we can kind of customize our, our screen to have a diff, the HUD to have different information. Um, resource limits, work areas, Crafting. The crafter. We can look into leather outfits. Uh, or we can look into, say, flint pick bone spear. Uh, spears can be used to hunt animals, blah, blah, blah. They're different materials like uh, bone, flint, or metal. Right. And our first spears looked like they were all wood, so. Okay, so this died somehow. All right, we are stocked up on meat now. That is good. We don't have any cured meat, but we should soon. And we don't really have any fish. I wonder why. 
Oh, am I making bone harpoons? I don't mean to be making harpoons. I was thinking a bone knife would be good, but that doesn't seem to be an option. So we're going to be stuck with the biface general purpose cutting tool until we get to flint knife, which requires stone polishing. That is probably composite tools, stone polishing. Okay. So that will unlock new flint spears uh, and stuff. I wonder if we should bother with dogs or if we should just go to the next tool making one. Uh, but you can see we can go all the way up to the Iron Age. Mesolithic, Neolithic, Copper Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age. Very cool. So that's kind of why I'm, I'm optimistic that this will be a fun series, guys. I think for the next couple of weeks, if I stream for an hour, 60 to 90 minutes every morning, we're going to get really far in the game. We'll get to really experience it. I'll be creating a ton of new content for people who are desperate for content. And if you're new and just looking to explore Dawn of Man, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. I think I'll be doing a bunch of it. If you've been watching Corrales and his 20, 30 minutes a day is not enough for you, I'll be bringing you more. I'll be bringing you double or triple that, plus I'll be keeping myself busy with Atlas in the meantime. Uh, okay, so three meat turning into cured meat. Uh, and they're just transitioning it from here. Okay, great. That's good stuff. It says we have 15. I wonder where the rest of it is. Or is it being brought back, perhaps? Maybe that's the case. So, okay, rest. He needs rest. That is what the Z means. Nutrition. You could certainly use more of. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's see if we can get this population to grow. That would be a great achievement, I think. I said don't prioritize this. Prioritize this. What are you doing there? Are you Varagalk? Yeah, the one who can't kill a deer. That Varagalk. I remember ye. Alright, and we still have some sticks to gather in this range. Are we out of flint in this range? No, we still have a good supply of flint. Let's go Primal Vision. All the bears have moved on. There are no bears in our immediate area. There are actually very few animals in our immediate area. We've kind of overhunted. I mean, seriously, where would you go for animals? We're going to have to get go hard on the fishing come spring, I imagine. Or we're going to have to learn to get over this valley. Even then, it's all predators. It's all lions and bears, right? Cave lion, young male, young... Okay. Yeah, they've killed everything. It's like an overspawn of predators at the moment, it looks like. I, I barely see anything huntable. So let's hope that we've got enough supplies to get us through fall and winter. Fall is nearly here. Winter is almost upon us. Uh, let's do it. Let's see. Yeah, this is interesting got a mouflon here okay i don't want to send them out that far or is that a dead mouflon that's a dead mouflon maybe that's worth sending someone for there's no meat on it just skin okay sounds good to me guys sounds good to me so will you go get some rest here Girac? yes he will let's watch this uh rest meter okay he's sleeping Cool. Oh, that's cool that they've got that built in. I've built too much housing for the moment. And if this... If this timing it works out the way that I think it does, it's interesting because... Uh, it means that these people are going to take a very long time to grow old. The children... If they, you know, if they age one year per winter, it will be a fairly slow process. So we probably didn't need a second one of those yet, but um, it's going well. Okay, Trader has arrived. What is this all about? Okay, uh, let's go here. Trader. All right, Trader stock sells tannin. Value one, click to trade. Sells logs, sells pulses? That looks like a pea plant or something. I don't know what to do here, guys. What do we have to trade? Wooden harpoons. 
Value five. Okay. Okay, so we can sell tools. We're going to be making new bone bone tools. So if we did that, we could get one, two, three, four bread. We could get whatever a pulse is. We could get... I don't know the value of tannin yet. We can't make logs yet. And we might as well get cured meat. And then I wonder if I ought to give him another wooden harpoon. Those are not that hard to make. That's 15. Then we can go 1, 2, 3. And cure, dried fish. Oh, trade value 16. Okay. All right. It's winter. I've just stocked us up on an insane amount of meat. Uh, some bread. Okay, clothing. All right. This makes sense. Clothing offers your people protection from the cold, increases welfare, and reduces damage sustained in combat. Skins and wool outfits uh, protect people up to freezing temperatures. It's critical that you have one of these per inhabitant. When it is warm, your people will prefer to wear leather or linen. These increase welfare levels and offer slight protection in combat. The typical way to ensure you have enough clothing uh, is to set continuous production in the crafter or outfitter structures and have a resource limit set of a hundred percent i think we already do now the wool outfit resource lasts five years more durable than skins i imagine we need to kill the mouflon which is like the prehistoric sheep uh that's wool cloth uh, uh clothing back to clothing um when the temperature drops below the level of protection uh, they will seek shelter or they will die of hypothermia Okay, so let's look into the outfitter. I imagine we have we have no fuel. What? What fuel? Sticks? We have no sticks. That's okay. We will gather. We will gather. We got three people. Let's put a fourth person. Let's clear that area out. All right, and then knowledge. We need one more, but let's see where the outfitter would be. Pulse processing. Pulse is a is a it's a crop. As we might have expected. Tanning would take us to the sledge making, would take us to weaving, would take us to stilting. Required for bridge, required for weaver and outfitter. So, to make the outfitter, we need to get to weaving. So that would be five, ten points. Uh, I don't know that we need that. We should just check in on this. This is in constant production. We can maybe remove that from constant production for now. We have spears. Six wooden spears. We haven't made any bone spears. So yeah, put that in constant production. Okay, I feel fairly I feel fairly good about what, what, how prepared we are. Let's uh, go through our people and make sure that they have clothing on. I don't think anybody's still naked. I hope not. Ah, and we have we have a possible hunt. We have a, a new herd that has arrived on our borders. Check out these epic megaloceros. One large male, and then a bunch of females, all adult. One young male. We should probably try and take out one of the adult females. Keep the herd alive. Alright, how many humans? What if we took four humans? Oh, a couple of those are children, right? So what if we took these two and we tried to take down one of the... Or do we take down the male? The old buck. No, let's take out one of the does. You do not have a spear. You do not have a spear. So, Viri, you are going alone. Alright, you are prepared. Why don't you join in? Well, let's see what Viri can do without much help. This is a tough thing to take down. This is why I kind of wanted to send a couple of people. But for some reason, somebody still doesn't have a... 
Horak is on his way, and so now is Vargeek. Let's see what happens here. We scatter the herd. Oh lord. Oh lord, stop it. Stop, give up on the hunt. Come back here. What a disaster this was. Maybe we can converge on this one. No. Okay, what a mess. What a mess. <laughs> will that herd try and reconvene, I wonder? It seems like it. Yes, they will. Okay. So why don't I bring those people here? Oh man, there's a lot of them. Okay. So let's bring you guys in. And take this out. And whoever was over here, I seem to have lost you. Ah, this one. Okay, let's check them all out. Check out this full contingent coming in. If they simultaneously throw... And now we chase. Oh, this would have to be micromanaged so that you get the one that breaks away from the herd a little bit. We did it, okay? Maybe we kill another? Right, good stuff, guys. Okay. So you harvest... And somebody can harvest this one. Okay, get to work, people. Good stuff. Okay. Now, uh, first animal hunted plus one knowledge point. We've now got the Megaloceros. Awesome. This location we've chosen seems to be fairly safe uh, from dangerous creatures. It seems to be getting not the worst type of uh, weather. Uh, good morning to Billy. Welcome, buddy. And uh, to Dynamic. Thank, thank you guys for tuning in. Some long-time uh, viewers and, and uh, yeah, com stream watchers, commenters. So this is Dawn of Man, if you're just tuning in, guys. We've got a crafting station. We're busy making clothing for everybody. We're busy making uh, bone spears from our, bo uh, our large collection of bones. We have enough skins for everybody in the place. We're low on... Oh, we're not low on water. This person needs some water. Right. Uh, we are busy using a food dryer to convert meat to cured meat. We're storing our, our, well, nothing right now in the storage tent. And we've got room for the population to expand to up to about 12. We're sending our prehistoric hunters out into the wilderness. They just thinned this herd out a little bit. Uh, did we get the young one? I hope we didn't get the young one. We might have got the young one in that chaos. You never, you never... You never slaughter the young if you can avoid it. Adults. You try and get the old, old ones that are near the end of their life cycle already. Alright, people coming back. This is the beginning, guys. Let's fast forward a little bit and we'll see how we do. We'll see what kind of trouble we run into come winter time. Oh, and we, okay, we are, you know what we're going to do? We are going to set up a new... Uh, gathering zone for sticks because we are nearly out so let's see about going place work area gather sticks and this area is so plentiful that we should have no trouble all right and this one we're gonna put three at the most and then we'll go get rid of this old work area or move it down to one person Perfect. So most people will be heading over here to gather those. We still have flint gathering, but we have a nice supply of that. They gather that here. We don't have a lot of fish, but I have put a couple of people to work on fishing. I think for the winter, we don't want to even bother. This area is getting a little low on fish, so let's actually remove this, and we'll see about maybe a new fishing area. Ooh, okay, so we have... Oh, we have new ones. Obtain stone and obtain wild plants. Let's have a look around and see. Some of these might make more sense in spring. Like wild plants, for example, I imagine would be good in spring. But if we put one of these out here, that will be for one person. 
If we put one of these out here, obtain stone. Ah, they could go right here. Okay, and they'll start with one person each, and then I'll put a fishing area. Oh, okay, so you know what? Come spring, we'll put a new fishing area in, but let's not bother for now. I think fishing is best at the very the start of the season. Okay, you are cold, child. You are cold. Go warm yourself. We can't afford to lose our chillins. You are cold as well. Okay, we're midwinter now, guys. So we probably need to get working on wool clothing for the next winter. Hopefully we don't lose anybody. Hopefully overall health is still full. Overall health still full. Just cold. So it's not brutally difficult so far, the game. Uh, it's got a nice gentle learning curve. I hope I'm building the right kind of structures. Wood piles, we have rock piles. We could probably use a rock pile now. Mm -mm. We'll put that there. Okay. What else am I capable of building? Production. We've got all of those. Housing. I think there's only the one. Yep. Uh, as we go on, we'll have huts, stables, and roundhouses. Cool. For goat domestication. And, uh, okay. Cool. And then masonry. Oh, man. There's so much to this. We're going to be a while working on this. Should we put in the skull pole, guys? Should we give ourselves a a little tribute to our honored dead? We don't have any dead yet. I'll wait. I'll wait to build the skull pole. Storm. Okay, and what's your problem? Varagik, old male. Very cold. Get inside, Varagik. Get inside. Varagalk. I keep calling him Varagik. I love it. Alright, and here's our people. They are tired. She's not cold. Good for her. Coming back with the the plunder from this recent hunt over here. So we've butchered. We have a bunch of skins right here for this one. Uh, has the other one been mostly collected? Uh, nearly, right? There is a little meat and a little bone. Alright, so those people will be busy doing that. Nobody working at the crafter's hut. So I'm going to stop sending them out to go hunting. We have a really good supply of meat. I just couldn't pass up that herd getting close to us. Um, when there were no animals in sight the last time we looked. So we had a nice herd of Megaloceros pass through for the winter. I wanted to take full advantage. <clears throat> and thank you for answering, Jay. Thank you for asking, Jerry. Uh, but yes, we do, in the mornings, I try and go, we were about an hour in. I'm enjoying this. The last time we did a series like this, uh, was, uh, this war of mine, I think was a morning time series. Uh, it, the universe sim was a morning time series. It's been a little while, but in an ideal world, guys, I have a nice routine to this. And this is part of my daily routine is streaming in the mornings for you. Perfect. I think you guys are watching a YouTube ad now. Did you just see a YouTube ad? I guess that's a button I can click sometimes. I'm probably supposed to do it more often. Rather than one hour in. <laughs> but skip it, if, if you like. No hassle. No problems. Let's check out the plant harvesting. Where did I put that? Birch. You know what? We can actually go from here. We can go next work area. Right here. Okay. So, oh, sticks? No. Blueberry. Blueberry. Okay, so this has got to be a springtime thing. This is not worth doing this time of year, is it? All right, you know what? Let's remove that. Let's not bother trying to gather blueberries in the middle of December. It's actually probably like March right now. Late February, early March. We're about to come into springtime. And when we do, I'll set up the blueberry thing. I'll set up some fishing, and we won't worry about hunting again until the fall. We'll let the, we'll, we'll let the creatures do their thing. YouTube premium. Nice. I think I get a couple of pennies from that. 
If you watch me mostly in a month, we'll see. I don't know how YouTube... Yeah. I don't know how they make their make their money, spend their money. Okay, so we get... You can see all the resources stored inside each of these places. I don't know why I bought those pulses. I didn't even know what a pulse was. <laughs> okay, we're using both racks now. Good stuff, but we really don't need the second one. Um, I could get those resources back if it was worth my time and effort. We're really counting on the population growing next. So let's hop into knowledge. Do we... Okay, so we got to get to Mesolithic. What do we needs to be done? We probably have to unlock all of these before we can get to Mesolithic, right? So we can do composite tools next, or I can do dogs. Tanning. Okay, so we'll get the flint, axe, pick, and spear. That's for a little bit later. Why don't we begin... Let's do the dog. Let's do the dogs, and we'll see what happens. Do I get a new structure? Uh, do I have to find dogs and send people out? So no dog house. I didn't think there would be a dog house. That's a silly idea. <laughs> uh, rock pile, wood pile, storage tent. No thanks. And then production. None of the above. So we'll just have to keep our eyes out. I think dogs will just show up. I think we'll just, like, have a dog. Oh, population grew. We just got three new people. Are they babies? Or did we get uh, some... Okay, new settlement. Uh, new human has joined the settlement times three. Population has reached ten. Knowledge plus three. Okay, we're ready almost to do another one. And dog domestication. It's now... It's now is this the end of winter? Almost the end of winter. We're nearly there. Uh-huh. Some of your people have no warm clothing. Yeah, the new ones. The new ones don't. Uh, so let's make sure that's still on auto production. So, same with bone spears. We should just let our people chill for now. I'm not going to give them any new tasks, any new construction projects. We're not going to send them hunting. We'll just let them gather and, and survive until spring. Speaking of, let's fast forward. Rest up, people. Spend your time. Relax. I think we might actually go for two hours. We'll see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hello. Are you the new people? You're one of the new people. Oh, we got an old man. Come on, Varnak. Is this the best we can do? Come in here with no clothing? Of course you're coming to our civilization. We're going to clothe you. Warm you, you old bastard. Yeah, fine. Take up space in one of my huts, you waste of space, old man. No offense. Sorry, guys. That's ageist. <laughs> Any of you over 60 that are watching now? Some. Probably. At least a couple. Hello, Maester Master. And did I say the name right? Is it Jerry? Do I pronounce it like a North American? Or is it Jewery? Jory, maybe. I think Jerry. I'm going to go with Jerry. Um, I didn't show you guys this, but we can add panels. We can go general resources, grouped resources, animals. Okay, and now we can wait to see when we get our first dog. Is that on this list? It's not on this list. So why don't we get rid of that? And we'll just have to keep our eyes open for the dog. He should show up eventually. Okay, we now have enough clothing for all our adults. Fantastic. Oh, spring is sprung. Spring is sprung. Are you cold? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's springtime, Gora. You are one of my new humans, aren't you? You are one of the recent additions to our tribe. Come home, get some clothing. All right, now that it is springtime, let's go ahead and we are going to put a focus, I believe, survive the winter knowledge plus one. Okay, let's go ahead and unlock uh, tanning next. Okay, that will give us some new structures, I believe. But before we do, let's go ahead and place a work area on fishing. I think I read early on in the game that fishing was best in springtime. So let's go ahead and put one, two, three people on there. Let's do this for now. And I will pull off sticks. Where is my stick collecting? Let's lower that to like two. Uh, let's cancel this stick collection zone for now. No, you know what? We'll put one there and we'll put one here. And we'll go put some people on blueberry. Blueberry gathering. That's how I pronounce it. 
don't question it. That's how it's pronounced. A strawberry. Blueberry. Strawberry and blueberry. Place collection zone for wild plants. Ooh, there's another one over here. Okay. So let's do that. And there's a new collection zone that we have for tannin. What is tannin? Tannin is what you use to cure the... Oh, and that would be over here. Do we have any of those trees in our, our current vicinity? A couple. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'll place one here, and we'll see. We, we got a bigger population. I just don't know how we're going to manage it so far. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see if we can get some people fishing and hunting here. Like, yeah, there you go. Aran, an old female. That's what she is good for. Uh, we should probably be making the bone harpoons, too. The crafting is very slow. Uh, so, oh, 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 and leather outfit. Put that in production. Rapid production. Good stuff. Okay, and sticks are becoming a little bit less useful. Why are you unhappy, Gora? Morale. Why are you so grumpy? Detriment to our society, woman. Look at this. Guys, look at spring. Look at, look at what happens in spring. So we got a mama with three cubs. Keep your distance from them. Please do. Let's actually, speaking of, let you know what? For the time being, let's get rid of this whole, let's do it. I don't want anybody going over there if they don't have to. We'll put another person on, st on stick collection over here. Avoid the mama bear. Lessons learned on that front, I would say. Uh, we've got a, a adult male megaloceros. Where are you guys going? Cross that river, please. I do not want anything to do with you. Let's go in primal vision mode, and we'll see what kind of other young young creatures are on our borders. Check it out. Lots of fishermen. Uh, a lone wild male boar. Mole, mole bear. Mole bear, as I called it earlier. Uh, we've got a kitty. Not a lot of wild creatures. So this is why you this is why you fish in the spring, I think. If I'm not mistaken. So speaking of, let's go let's go over to our camp and we will see this was down to like almost no fish in the winter. Now in the spring you can see one, two, yeah, giant amount of fish. So this is great. And mud. Mud amount is high. That's probably a springtime thing too. The mud we're probably going to use when we get into, like, clay brick making, I think. That feels like what it's going to be all about. I think we just hit around the most people we've had watching the stream today. So thank you, guys. Uh, thank you for hanging out. <laughs> well, it's typical for UTC to be pretty savage to children and the elderly, especially in Frostpunk, yes. Stupid children. Dang old fool. It's, it's entirely joking. Don't worry, guys. I mean, there's I have jobs that are perfect for the old people. Sit here and make me new spears. Make me new clothing. I don't need you to go out hunting and to fail. Or to walk around town complaining about how much our town sucks. You just got here. Look at the morale on Horak. He's been here since the beginning. He's doing work. Meanwhile, one of our recent... Okay, Arin. Doing good work herself. Varnak. Excellent. Varnax turned his game around. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't aggro them. I'm prepared to, to go hard. Just pass through town. You pass through town, please. Wow, they are huge already for cubs. Good lord, what a massive beast that is. Let alone the mama bear. Alright. Look at the look at the detail on these guys. Is this not great for a game that you're mostly zoomed out on? I feel like these creatures are pretty fantastic looking. That's got more detail than the bear in the long dark. And the long dark's a first person game. I was ready to go. I was ready to bring my whole tribe to bear to hunt those down. All right. We are using both our tanning racks. I think it's time to build new tanning racks uh, or skin drying racks. So let's go production. Uh, oh, that's the food dryer. Pardon me. Uh, here we go. Build, production, 
skins dryer. And we'll build another one. Like a so. Excellent work. Oh, come on, bears. Get the hell out of here. All right, I'm going to place a new production area for sticks back where we had had it before because these bears are clearly just going to wander all all up in our business with no regard for what I what I want where I want them to go. All right, so we'll put somebody over there. Good stuff. So we still have room for two people. I wonder if I should build the next hut. Probably while 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 it's springtime and and we've got plentiful resources. Let's put one here. Okay. Yeah, we've still got lots of meat, lots of fish. We're in really good shape for food. I feel good about food. Uh, clothing, we should be good, especially with the new drying racks. Whenever those get built, let's prioritize. And let's go see if anybody's doing the berry gathering. I forgot to... I've got a flag somewhere in here, don't I? Yes. So let's go put, like, three people on that. I want... I kind of want... I haven't had this, what is this, the mouflon? I haven't had one of these close to camp in a while. So, and we haven't killed one yet. So that would be an extra knowledge point. We currently have zero. So maybe I can find a hunter, Viri, with a bone spear. Yes, please. Yes, please, hunt this. I'm gonna mute myself for a second here, guys. I got the sniffles. Uh, Waldo, welcome to the stream, my friend. And Waldo saying, this game looks awesome, by the way. I'm, I'm kind of digging it. It's not out yet, so you guys can't buy it or play it until March. But um, we'll have the chance to really get into it with a morning series like this. And I'm kind of I'm kind of enjoying myself right now, guys. So I'm in no particular hurry to end. I think we might go two hours tonight. Tonight? This morning? So let's let's take a look at this sleepy old male. Thinks he's just chilling here. Thinks he's gonna see another summer. Thinks he's gonna experience another another cold winter, another long fall, another hot, enjoyable summer. Well, you're sitting on my blueberry patch right now, my friend, and Viri has got a bone spear destined for your bootay. Eventually. Let's let's speed things up. Yeah, that's right. The old mouflon. The old idiot of a goat, sheep, ram. Trader has arrived. Yes, this went very well for us last time. Okay, uh, escape. Show me the trader. All right, trader. Cool, cool concept. Okay, so comes with straw, bread, leather, meat, logs, and sling making. Sling making is research value one hundred. No way we're going to be able to pull that off. Okay, so bone harpoons. Uh, I'm currently fishing up a storm. So I'll maybe sell one. How many fishermen do I have going? Let's do this. Let's sell a wooden spear. You know what? We haven't made many bone spears since then yet. So tannin. I have a lot of tannin. All right, so that's worth 14 total. So what can we get back from you? Straw, I don't need yet. Leather, I don't actually have. I have hide, I have dry skin. Okay, so let's buy leather. Trade value, eight, why? Commission, high, oh. Oh, so you're really ripping me off. I don't like the cut of your jib. This is worth one, but you're gonna charge me two. This is worth one, but you're gonna charge me two. What a what a crap person. This is worth a hundred, but you're gonna charge a hundred and fifty. Okay. Well, we'll buy the two leather. That's worth fifteen. I will throw in a piece of flint, I guess. All right. So we'll buy that leather. All right. Move along, you rip off merchant. You big big. What a what a hack this person is. High commission. Who, who do you think this is? 
like the 1980s when you're talking on a cell phone stock market celebrity i'm a, I'm a professional s- slick businessman this is a stone age how about you trade what people need how about you be an honest businesswoman for once we should hunt you acorn and vodraka we should hunt you both for meat is that even a possibility <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like this is a good target for hunting. I understand that. So I only have one person on tin, and, and they're gathering a silly amount of it. Oh, I see. Okay, so let's do that. Production limit for sticks. Okay. We've got stick gatherers in two locations. We have stone gatherers. I think they've mainly cleared this area out. I think the stone gathering flag is even gone. So we probably have to place a new one. Let's go and build. I don't know what the stone is good for yet. But if we go gather stone. Yeah, they would have to come to this side of the river now. And how are, our riv how are our rivers doing? Okay, this one's almost fished out. This one's almost fished out. Okay, so spring is coming to an end. Why don't we clear out this area? Uh, let's dismantle it. And we'll set up one more fishing area while... while the season is, is, is plentiful, and we will put uh, people to work. Ready? Place work area fishing uh, right here, and we'll put four people to work. We'll gather up a bunch of that fish. Three. Let's go with three. Okay. We've got the skin dryers going. We've got leather now, which we haven't had the chance to actually make ourselves, uh, so we can make leather outfit. We can make two of those, probably. All right, and let's see what I should... I, with that last chunk of research, I'm thinking I should have gotten well flint mine weaver requires thatching and weaving. Outfitter requires thatching and weaving. And there's no tannery. Mortar requires grain processing. Tanner. Oh, it does. Okay. Place to make leather from skins. Okay. All right. Do I keep this line of construction going? No, you need to access this from four directions. So we'll put this over here. And I think I'm going to quickly gather these people. What is this? A do Oh, that's a dog. Oh, we got a dog. I thought there was a lion in our camp. Yes, I looked at the camera like I was using face cam and I made a big excited smile. But check that out. We got a mutt. It's like a, a young wolfhound, basically. Awesome. I have the sniffles, guys. Pardon me if I go quiet for a minute. I'm muting myself so you don't have to hear me snort. Um, candy ass. Good morning, UTC. Glad I caught you. This game is addicting to watch. It feels like one of those games, guys. I watched Corrales play it, and I was like, God, this 30-minute episode is not enough. I know that's his format. Um, but this, to me, seemed like this was going to be a perfect live series where we could spend two hours, an hour and a half, just jamming out, playing the game, exploring it, learning. Now, I don't need it yet, and it's probably a waste, but I kind of want to complete my little uh, <laughs> conglomeration of houses here. Why can't I build there? Oh, because of this stick pile. Get rid of that stick pile. I'll build a new stick pile. Let's do that. Storage. Wood pile. <clears throat> okay. And then I'm going to put a new hut right here. And then we'll have a maximum population of 18. Is that right? I think so. So we'll be well prepared. Let's see if any herds are passing our way. Nope. Mostly lions, young lion cubs. No herds out this way. We've kind of kind of cleared out the area a little bit if we wanted to go find a herd we'd have to head over to this part of the map well wait oh guys check it check it mammoth tomorrow we'll hunt mammoths tomorrow we'll hunt maybe a baby mammoth i don't know if we've got what it takes to hunt a full-size mammoth what is this a dead cave lion oh my god they wrecked it and that's how you pronounce it guys mammoth 
Man moth. Half man, half moth. My moth. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. I get a little... I get a little stupid in the mornings. Okay, oh, we've got... Okay, some boars. We've got an injured young female boar. Okay, so we can come over here to hunt. I think at the moment, while spring is... While spring is plentiful, we are going to fish these banks dry. Nobody has fished this one yet. We've got... Oh, that's our dog. These are the young bears. Where's Mama? Have they split off from Mama? No, here she is. They're just... How awesome is that? They're just getting a little bit further and a little bit further. And that's not a mama, that's a papa. I don't know why they're, they're there. Papa bears are not good for cubs. Papa bears eat cubs. Did you guys know that? Bears are super cannibals. I know we like anthropomorphize them because they're in Disney cartoons and stuff and we think they're they're cute. They're So like what a, what a male bear will do is he'll eat any cubs he can get his hands on because he doesn't. they're not his. So he's gonna eat them and then try and impregnate the mother whose children he just ate so that his genetics can be passed on. Evolution is, 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 is sick. It's disgusting. I don't think I've properly laid these out. There's like a little curvature to these that I don't have on the other side. We'll work it out. We'll get better at this. We will get better at this together. So lots of meat, lots of fish, not a lot of sticks. So why don't I go over? here and we'll put a couple people on this and as soon as spring is over i'm going to stop gathering the berries which did we actually gather any i don't really see berries as one of the resources that we've we've gathered i did put people to work gathering here but i think i must have distracted them all right we'll worry about that next year i guess so let's get rid of this spring is almost ready to end um, we'll focus on the fishing and the gathering until then. The berries would be nice. The veggies would be nice. We need to get a couple of things done so that... What is your problem? Gora, you are so grumpy. Oh, I'm just going to go from this house to this house. Get some work done for once. And stop whining. What's your problem? You got a bone spear. You got some skins outfits. I really don't think you ought to be so upset. Okay. An Orox. And we've got another Megaloceros herd, all females with babies. No male to protect that. Oh, there is one male in the herd. Okay. So we'll wait for them to pass close. Ooh, is that an Ibex? We haven't killed one of these yet. Yes. Okay, so maybe I send one hunter out here. That will get us another uh, another point of experience. How about somebody with the bone spear? How about grumpy old Gora? Why don't you get out of camp for a while and go do something useful for the community? That's a boar. The Orox is probably a little bit of a harder kill. Am I right in thinking that? Yes, it is. So we'd want to send a couple people to go get that. Cool. I love the, I love the environment, guys. I really do. And the game map, the game map is huge. We did this yesterday, but it's like it's fully populated with resources and with creatures. Well, I don't see a lot of creatures out this way. But I mean, like look at the size of it. Like seriously, why is this map so big? Oh yeah, it's full of creatures. Here's here's one of the lakeside spawns. Okay, this is one of the other spawn locations. So it's like, why is this map so huge? It doesn't even make sense why they... Like, I get it that they've got five different spawn points inside uh, inside uh, this game world. But, I mean, like, look at this. We've got vast forests, river, uh, and or a whole herd of bison. Which I thought that's what I saw when I saw the aurochs, but uh, we basically saw bison. And it continues just as far this way, I, I believe. So if we if we go out here... Like, I think I see the edge of the world. We won't go over these mountains. Yeah, right. So that's the edge of the world. But, I mean, it's big. It is a big old world. So we're up to four leather outfits. That is great. I think we've got enough tannin. We can probably stop gathering that for now. Uh, that's used at the... This thing. The tanner. Let's, let's prioritize that. 
Uh, I'll hold off on building the next hut for now. What do we got here? Uh-huh. Stick gathering. Okay. Still rapidly producing stone tools. I think I'm going to stop making the fishing implements for now. Uh, we'll use those for trade. And I think I'm going to stop... Uh, how much fish are left? Okay, how much fish? How much fish? You get much fish? Uh, I think I could move this zone and place a new one. Like so. And we'll gather up fish while they are plentiful because once summer hits, there will be less fish in the rivers. We'll have to worry about hunting. We've got dogs now. The next resource point I'm going to put towards, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll have to do composite tools, sling making, or spirituality. Let's do the composite tools. Uh, that'll give us something to do over summer. And then I think once we've got everything in the Paleolithic tier, we open up the Mesolithic tier. So that might be a good goal for today. I just hit the 90-minute mark, guys. If you're cool with it, we're going to go for like maybe another half hour, and we'll push on to just under two hours for the stream. I don't think anyone will complain. There's more of you watching now than there were early on in the stream. So welcome if you're new. Um, a fresh wash water fish will make sure to give birth someplace safe. Uh, huh. Okay, and then turn around and eat them moments later. Yep. Animal hunted, Ibex, knowledge one. Just got back from an appointment. How late am I? End of the stream, we're 90 minutes in, Doug. But I just decided we're going to go for a little bit longer. We should have a human somewhere out here. Where did we kill the Ibex? There's our human. She's a grumpy old biatch. I would love to send her after an Orox as well. I don't know if she can hunt it alone, but if she were to if she were to die, I wouldn't be that upset because she's just constantly complaining. Oh, my life sucks. Oh, this camp sucks. Get go somewhere else then if you don't like it. I didn't ask you to come here. You came here and you've been grumpy since you arrived. Kill me a bull. Kill me a wild bull, or get gored to death. One of the two. One of the two, one of the two. Okay, it did a charge and flee, and in charge. Kill it. Oh my God, she is gonna get wrecked. So this is why you don't take on these creatures alone. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, Gora has been killed by an Orox. Okay, well, time to build that, uh, totem to memorialize our dead. Uh, Aaron, can you please head out here and, uh, clean up after her kill? Uh, it was worth a try. Next time we go for an Orox, we will send multiple people. But, hey, guess what? The camp is a lot happier now. We got a lot fewer complainers around town. You know what? Gora is grumpy because she has no food. Billy, whose fault is that? 13 cured meat. 5 dry fish. 5 raw fish. Vegetables. If she's not eaten, I'm not, I'm not to blame. <laughs> but thank you for pointing out that it's probably my fault if she's grumpy. Uh, I know that to be true. Uh, I'm just playing up, for, playing up for, the, for you guys. Yeah, look at this hut. This hut has 9 meat in it. This hut has 3 fish. This one's got fish and meat. This one has meat. This one has no food. Maybe she was living in here and refused to get food from this tent, which is full of, well, not food. But anyway, this is full of food. This is full of food. I'm not to blame. I'm, I know I am to blame, but I'm not to blame. Uh, I love that we got dogs running around camp. Yes, our population is one smaller. Yes, I probably shouldn't have done that. But it was exciting to watch, isn't it? Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that exciting to watch? Watching her get launched through the air like that? I loved it. It was a delight. One of the highlights of this game. I mean, this is early humanity, guys. There are ups and there are downs. There is life and there is death. And when there is death, we memorialize it with our first spiritual construction. A skull pole. Gora's skull. And what a name, eh? Gora? <laughs> For how she died? Gora got Gorod. 
we're gonna want to tame those beasts eventually, right? So we have to learn. We have to learn from Cora's mistake. Thank you for subscribing, Jamad, Jamad, if you're watching live. Jammed? It's probably jammed. I don't know why I assumed it was Jamed. <laughs> I thought it was a name. Uh, okay, it is now summer. Let's go ahead and stop fishing because there are no fish left. Uh, where did I put that fishing totem? Fishing thing. Uh, it might have it might have despawned because there was no resources left. Oh no, right here. Let's dismantle this. Boom. <clears throat> okay, so we got a good supply of food and meat. Not a ton of hide, but lots of dry skin that can be converted. I wonder if I should make another crafter. Nobody uses it, so nobody uses it. So we need to get we need to get our knowledge up. So maybe I will send some hunters. To go find some new prey. Uh, we've we've managed to kill a mouflon. We've managed to kill an ibex. We'd have to send a, a, a team to go after that thing that killed Gora. What's close that we might not have killed? We've got bears we haven't killed yet. We've killed the megaloceros. We've killed the boars. We haven't gone after a mammoth. That's a task for tomorrow. We've killed a horse. And man, a whole tribe of wild horses. That's fantastic. All right, so nothing immediately close that can get us uh, points. It doesn't look like. Work area for stone. Right, right, that's perfect. Okay, so we deal with what we deal with, guys. We get The next one we're gonna do is the advanced tools. That will give us some new buildings so we can start mining and properly. Yeah, there you go. So Gora being memorialized with the skull tree. It's pretty gross, but what you're going to do? And I think I'll try building that last residence here. Alright, I hope that's a good placement. I hope that looks good. I like that I tapered these in a little bit. I'm going to do that over here, too. And then maybe eventually we'll add a couple more here and taper those as well. A little little uh, community center location. Nobody has used these new drying racks. I wonder why. We probably just don't need them. Drying fish, drying meat. We're stocked up. We're pretty well stocked up. So we have six wooden spears. Are we still, we're still mass producing knives? I think so. No, but I will put people to work on that. What's up? What's up, young? We have at least a couple of dogs now. The other one was a young female. There's one. And there's one. What a great addition to have dogs running around your camp. It's fantastic. I wonder if I should put together a hunting team and go after that Orox that killed that Gora Gora. It's right over here. It's kind of the only beast that we're capable of getting that we haven't yet that's close. I wonder how many people we ought to take in order to go after one. We might be better off just going after a young bear or something. I just don't know if we'd raise the ire of the whole bear clan, bear, bear posse, bear tribe. But yeah, we have, I don't know, I like it. We've got chilled out music, we've got prehistory, we can zoom in on every human and watch them build detailed, elaborate looking building. Excuse me, detailed, elaborate looking buildings. And you guys can see that they're wearing different uh, clothing this time of year. They're wearing less. They were bundled right up in the winter. I really like the detail to this. I mean, it's not 100% perfect. It doesn't look super realistic, but it's pretty good. So 
So population now can expand to 18, which is great. Uh, we're only using about half our population limit now. Exactly half, now that Gore is gone. But more, more young children. You can see the children doing work around town. That's a child. That's a child right there. And this is a tanner. Oh, it's still not built. Pending materials log. We can't make logs yet. I'm going to have to buy one from the nearby trader, I think. We can get sticks, but we can't get logs until we make flint tools, which we need one more knowledge point to do. So maybe we go after that Oryx. What do you think? A, a, a group of four full-size adults? Okay, you are not equipped. Okay, so let's take Horak. Uh, Aaron is not geared up. Horak. Vargeek. And we need one more. Can I take a dog? Yeah, apparently. No. God, I don't know whether it's worth it. I feel like we want like four people to take out a beast that size. And a couple of you guys are children, so... I like I like how his icon of this child has got like a beard. Oh wait, no it doesn't. I'm a fool. <laughs> I thought it was a bearded child. So we have Varnak yeah, we could take Varnak. Jirak still has a wooden spear. Alright, so let's remove the child and this child and we'll leave I know most of these people can hunt let's take all five let's do it And if one of them doesn't have the tools, we'll figure it out. Okay, watch him go. Watch him go. And this will give us... Oh, we have the point, but you know what? I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to avenge. This will be a great accomplishment to end our stream, I think, to avenge the death of Gora. Or to see all of our adults die. <laughs> uh, new text can be unlocked. I'll unlock this. We'll worry about it shortly. But I am going to zoom in on Varnak, the old male. Hopefully the rest of the crew catches up. And we'll fast forward. Hunting party. Headed for the... Headed for... To get ourselves an Orox, which is like a... a prim, primordial bull. I mean, look at... We could easily hunt this if we wanted to. So, two of the males. Bone spear, a couple of wood spears... I know you're getting hungry. This is a long journey. Probably shouldn't send you this far from home. Three of them grouping together and a fourth coming. All right, Varnak, you're leading the way. Good job, guys. Good, jo good job. Okay, now they're stopping to feed themselves. Oh, that's great. Check this out. Check this out. Uh, where are they? Right here? Raspberries. Uh, yeah, uh, right here. Right here. Watch this. Yes, they're stopping to gather blackberries. One of you, not you, but you or you. No, you are going to have to harvest this thing. And they got very hungry, so that was quite a long journey. But what are you going to do? And we really didn't need to send five. Three was plenty. That got us a new point. 
We have avenged the death of Gora, who got Gorad by a Orox. And our camp is pretty empty at the moment. So <laughs> we got a couple of dogs, old male, young female, awesome. And a young male, awesome. Oh, this is fantastic. Composite tools unlocked. We have no picks. Cool. So now we look at the crafter and we can now make, let's stop producing the bone spears. Bone tools are pretty much the same as flint tools. Wood plus flint. Okay, let's do that. And you know what? What we're going to need now is to increase the number of people gathering flint here. Because I bet we're going to start using a lot more of it. And we'll increase the production limit to 15. Okay, and we'll have a look. What are the other items? Flint axe and flint pick. So let's make... You know what? Let's just make a couple. Perfect, and we're going to have to wait for our people to get back. I'm going to fast forward, and we'll we'll see what we can get done before the in the next 15 minutes or so, guys. I think two hours will be my hard limit for streams like this. i got to get on with my day. Can't spend too much time. <laughs> Convenient post-hunt snack location. Yeah, it's fantastic. And we got a point for that. We've now killed a lot of different beasts today. And we need a log, so once we make a flint axe, I'm going to keep an eye on this. Alright, so three flint picks and a flint axe. Wood cutting, mining, and fighting. Oh, fighting. Fighting, nice. Okay, is this for when we get attacked? Yes, it is, probably. All right, and of course you guys are very tired. Rest up, it's been a long, hard journey. Rest up, eat up. I sent you on quite an exhaustive aura hunt. Look at, they're all exhausted. It's still spring, it's fall, oh crap. Summer went by like that, geez louise. We got lots of food though. I mean, our people are very hungry, but. <laughs> lots of food, we got people doing construction here. We now have two flint picks. Awesome. Uh, I bet I can do a... We have no picks. What are you talking about? What you talking about, fool? Okay, so let's make sure that stuff is going. I'm going to slow down. And I think, uh, based on this, we should have some new uh, production options. No. So we still need that tannery. Storage options. No. Housing, no. So what we're going to have, spiritual, no. So what we got out of this is probably a new work area. So we can now chop trees. Yes, that is the new the new thing. So we can now chop trees. Let's chop the ones out here on this river edge because we'll eventually expand out this way. How about like that? And we'll just put two, one person to work for now. We only have one of the act. Oh, well, yeah. We'll do that. That will give us the log we need to complete the tannery. And this will be a pretty good first day, guys. I wonder how much more there is to this game. By the end, I saw Corallus, massive walled villages. I mean, we're just getting into the Neolithic. Uh, or we're not quite... A, what are we at? We're in the Paleolithic. We still have a good ways to go before we can crack the Neolithic. And then once we get there, you can see 15 points for that is the, as a starter, which unlocks water, well digging... As we get down here to Bronze Age, you get masonry, uh, brewing, sword making, composite archery, horse domestication, refined fortifications, steel making, hydropower, water wheels and whatnot, donkeys, cattle, pigs, fruit trees, so we can make orchards, we can make farmers fields, megaliths weaving yeah there's so much to this guys i'm excited to explore it let's uh let's get ourselves to our next winter and we'll we'll see i want to complete the tannery and uh and yeah okay now you're was that garak yeah it's jirak feel better my friend you're tired you're mostly tired and you're kind of hungry so i understand a tr if, when a trader comes i'm gonna sell sell all kinds of good stuff to them Unless it's another rip-off merchant, like before. Let's put a second person to work out here. We don't have the tools quite yet, but somebody soon should be making up this next flint axe. 
and the flint picks I think will be used for flint gathering. So we're going to want at least three of them. We've got a fourth being made right now. You know what? Let's take that off and we'll make one more, a couple more knives. I want to make sure all our people can butcher things like that. Any herds passing close by? I wonder if we should go after these boar. They're a pretty easy hunt. Farnak's a good hunter. That's a child. Okay, Varnak and Jirak. Why don't you see how many of these you can kill for us? I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and take down the whole herd. Okay, and you can see they've dressed for winter now, guys. They've got the full-legged uh, uh, hide clothing on. The herd will keep coming back together. I bet we can clean the whole thing out if we do it right. Yeah, get... Uh, Get this one. Okay, perfect. Get this one. Separate the herd. What are these? Woolly rhino. Oh my gosh. Yep, this will be an easy kill. Awesome. Alright, we've kind of dispersed the herd. Now let's go tab. That is a that is a dangerous kill. I wonder if we should try and kill a baby woolly rhino. Is that a fool's move, guys? It probably is. Yeah, let's do this instead. Tomorrow, rhinos and mammoths will go out in force come come fall. It's almost winter. We're gonna survive our last winter, I think, guys. We'll uh, we got about a little under ten minutes left before the two hour mark, so. <clears throat> Look at this, our old men, our two oldest men, Varnak and Jirak. Oh, you're not that old, are you? Who, who are you? Okay, you're an adult male. I thought Jirak was an older fella. I'm going to clean out this whole dang boar herd. Give them some stuff to do over winter. Storm, okay. Left click to focus. That didn't focus at all. Oh well, what you gonna do? Alright, you know what? We've chased him far enough. Guys, forget about it. Come back here, do some harvesting. Now, Varnak is one of my flint axe people, so I ought to get him back to wood cutting. Okay. Horak, hungry. Alright, I'm sending my people very far away. Um, just before the weather gets cold, I thought we'd try and finish off, do some hunting. Oh my god, lightning strike! Jeez! These dogs would be freaking right the heck out, I betcha. Check it out. All the drying racks in action. All the meat racks in action. How's our storage? Lots of storage. Lots of stuff in storage. Alright, and we are now chopping wood. We should have at least one log. Should we have a log from this? Yes, okay. So that's Gorazor. Great name. Come on, Gorazor. Sounds like a transformer or something, eh? <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Welcome back. Um, I'm going to do this again f most mornings, baby girl. You were around a lot for Universe Sim when we did that in the morning, so I would love to have you hanging out um, f 
for these. Um, but we've had a great turnout uh, of, of the usual viewers. Lots, lots of folks uh, been hanging out. We did pretty well. Population just grew, guys. Population just grew to 12. Tanner. Okay. And now we can turn, okay, into leather. The difference between, let's take one more look at the help bar here. Help, and let's go into clothing. Uh-huh. We can go, okay, so skins outfit. Two warmth, one style. If we go back to clothing, we have leather. One warmth, one style, but last three years. So why would you do leather instead of skin? Uh, because they like it better in the summer. So this offers excellent protection against cold in winter. Uh, it also increases settlement welfare, which offers a slight protection in combat. Excellent. And then the other one, uh, made from leather, to be worn during warm seasons. So it's nice to have the variety of both. This is your summer, your summer wardrobe and your, your winter wardrobe. That sort of a thing. Now, what is going on with this building? Being repaired, perhaps? I think it probably got lightning striked. Struck. Oh, no. Okay. We got a problem here, guys. We got a problem. Okay. Good lord. Cave lion attack. Vara Gelk has been killed. You know what? He was one of our oldest people. Uh, the dog came to the rescue. Poor Vara Gelk. Okay. Well, we've now killed a cave lion. That gives us this. Uh, let's go ahead and do spirituality. Let's do it. I think we gotta, we gotta, we gotta put a tribute up to Varagalk. We now have a totem. Ooh, let's put it right at the head of the town here. Boom. Okay, so we'll put a tribute up to Varagalk. We will harvest a cave lion. They must be getting hungry. Um, we're gonna have to get into the walled settlements at some point soon. I wonder when we first get access to that. Fortifications, Neolithic period. So, sling making to archery. Archery to fortifications. But, we have to do everything, I think, in this, in this row to get to Mesolithic. I can probably get us through the Neolithic Age, or the Paleolithic Age today, guys. I'm coming up I'm four minutes from the two-hour mark, but if I, if I push us a little bit past it, we might be able to get that final final push so we've got hungry people i'm just gonna let them do their thing i'm not gonna give them crazy jobs or responsibilities we have a good amount of stone so let's go ahead and remove this work area we have a not a lot of flint so let's go ahead and put another we got three people to work on that we have three people with picks hopefully those are the people that go to work on it we're chopping trees we have two logs. I can lower this to one. We don't need that many tree choppers at this point. Varagalk got ganked by a cave lion. Rip other elderly person. Yeah, he's... Well, I mean, we've got Drad, who's a new arrival. We've got Cod, who's a new arrival. So we got two old ladies. Drad and Cod just hit town. And you know what? In a cheerful mood. Learning from Gora. If you come to this town in a bad mood, I'm going to send you to single-handedly kill a bull, which will then kill you in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hand-to-horn combat, more like it. And don't worry, Marcus, I'll publish the uh, stream replay as soon as we're done. You know what? It seems like a legit goal to, to accomplish the Neolithic, or the pa ah, Paleolithic Age today, guys. We need five more knowledge points. We will have completed sling making, and I think that will open up the meso. So let's push on. I'll fast forward things a little bit. Our people should eat. Winter is upon us. It is, seems like a gentle winter so far though, doesn't it? It doesn't even look, it looks very green still. All right, no herds in our immediate vicinity. We've killed and scared off a lot of the beasts. What is this thing? Donkey, oh, we haven't killed the donkey. I know that's probably not ideal, but I should get a hunter out there. That's gonna get us a new uh, experience point. Okay. Trader. Okay, trader stock. Uh, let's buy from you bread. And what can I sell you? Let's sell my two old wooden harpoons. Let's sell one of my flint axes. I'll make a new one. And let's sell one of my leather clothing. That's 25. So I will buy back all of your leather. 
What will you give me for this? You'll give me five for this. But you'll charge me five for that. I think I can make more than one out of it. So you know what? Let's keep the leather clothing. Let's keep the trade value at 20. Let's go up to 21. And I will throw in a log. Okay. Trade complete. And I'm going to find a couple of able-bodied hunters. Yes, like Varnak and Gorazor. And you guys are going to go and bring me a donkey. Donkey! I probably don't need both of you. Okay, let's watch this through Varnak's eyes here, guys. He can train the young hunter. The grumpy young hunter. I love that you can do this. I love that you can do this first per almost first person, third person, but like an up close third person perspective. So anytime we can kill a new beast, we get a new uh, research point. Yeah, the animal noises can use some work, but it's a development build, guys. Game isn't even out for another two, three months, so. All right, how far will this donkey run? How far will she run? Okay, she's given up. Which way are you guys going to go? What? Nice, amazing throwing. Just launching it through solid stone. <laughs> All right, so uh, plus one for completing a totem. Plus one for donkey. We are not far from completing the, the Paleolithic era. All right, and you can harvest. Bring us some donkey meat. Excellent work, Varnak. You old, you old donkey yourself. All right, and we now have a totem. Let's, uh, well, let's go look at this person. Horak, praying for the death. Oh, that is awesome, isn't it? That is the skull of the, that is the skull of the, the Orox we killed, the Brahmin. There's a couple of sheep skulls in here. This is a tribute to the hunters. This is a hunter's totem. With a couple of megaloceros antlers up top. Oh baby, that thing looks fantastic. I love it. Pretty soon we'll have like a, the next tier one will have a mammoth skull on it. And yeah, that was, that was pretty cool, but I don't like that they just huck it right through the, they just huck the spears right through solid stone objects. But great game so far. I hope you guys are digging it. Um, we're going to be doing this again tomorrow morning. I'm going to wrap this up very shortly, but I want to get to our final stage here. Completing, turning skins to leather. Uh, we're drying skins to turn them into dry skins. So we'll have a nice variety of leather and skins clothing. Um, we need to be, we probably can lay off the skin armor production, skin clothing production. Um, we can probably make another axe, another pick, and we'll keep working on the spears. We've got lots of fishing implements. We're in pretty good shape. Mostly wood still? No, all bone harpoons. We've got 11 biface knives. I can make... Oh no, we're good. We have only have 11 people. That suits me. Okay. People not eating a lot. I bought that one bread. Next spring, we're going to have to go hard on berry collecting, I think, guys, because uh, very soon we'll, I think, in the next tier, where does farming start to come in? Grain and pulse. So we'll probably get into, this will probably be gathered. The sledge. That is cool. Requires methylithic knowledge 7. Knowledge 7. Knowledge 15. All right. And then these are all 7s, but that's a 15. So the big ones are 15, 20, and 25. But as you go through, we go from 5 to 7 to 10, and then eventually 12 for basic re research. So that's baking is the full extent of this. We've got archery, goes into fortifications, goes into sword making, composite archery, and then reinforced fortifications. So many cool things ahead in the game, guys. What we have now, this is Paleolithic. This is this is Stone Age. Well, we're going to be in the Stone Age for quite a long time, but uh, we have three tiers of Stone Age. But this is like, you know, this is like the Stone Age of Stone Age. 
killed a donkey. We're going to have to get three more uh, experience points. I don't think I have any building options that are new to us. We've done both of those. We've done all of these. I don't think I need another tanner. Another hearth might be good just aesthetically to put one of those here. In between some of the huts, I've got one of these that's being prayed to. I've got one of these that's being prayed to. This is good for our people and their spirituality. Nobody's been cold this winter. Uh, and we shouldn't be too hungry, to be honest. We should be fairly well stocked up. 23 meat, 10 fish, 1 bread. Come spring, we can go hard on fishing again. We can go hard on berry gathering. We have no flint. Okay, let's find another flint gathering zone. Uh, how do I do that? Right here. One over there. One here. Let's let's go. Flint looks like that. So is this flint? No, it's not. That's flint. That's probably the closest one. I don't want to send my people across the river. Okay, so why don't we then... Why don't I just put more people to work out here? I've already got three on it. The maximum number. Okay, let's increase that then. And we'll increase that to 15 should be lots, but yeah, keep them busy with that. Now, what about the wood chopping? Only one person's on it. 10 logs is the maximum. Yeah, we're going to hit that pretty soon. Uh, we get sticks from that too, which is great. Gorazor. Looks like he's about to go chop wood. That's what you're doing here. That's what Drod is doing. <clears throat> right. We need to find sheep and get fleece so that we can uh, properly make some real good winter clothing. The wool would be great. Uh, what is your honest opinion about Atlas? I mean, I just don't like how fast you lose your ship. Well, you know what? Uh, you, you can totally play PvE. Uh, the only, I haven't really lost many ships yet. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but yeah, I've only, I don't know. It's, it's like, it's like if you log out and leave your ship out at sea, you'll lose it. But the ships that we've got in our harbor, nobody's touched them. They've been safe. Uh, we've put together a fairly large community, but... I think if you're going to try and survive in the PvP world, you need a large, large community. All right, I need to get three more XP, or three more new, uh, whatever they're called, knowledge points. So we could go kill a bear. We would want to bring the whole tribe. There aren't any bear cubs around. That's another aurochs. What could we kill that we have not yet killed? There's not much around. So if I were to do this. Let's see what happens. That's like that's like adult male. That's probably the toughest one to go after, but he's alone and we have a lot of people. This is, this is one of humanity's greatest resources in our early days, was strength in numbers and the uh, ability to throw uh, to throw things. And so many mods. Yeah, it happens, um, Doug, where I, I go some streams, I'm like, God, there's no moderators here. And then other streams, they all return. So we got baby girl, uh, Billy, who hasn't been around for a ton of streams of late. Um, okay, wait, wait. So I wasn't expecting Billy. Okay, this one's hunting. Okay, this is perfect. We're going to get it just while well, it's distracted. It's going after a baby. What what a weakling this bear is going after the baby boar. You are about to get your comeuppance, sir, as I bring a whole tribe of humanity to bear on you. Pun intended. Now, you are a little bit slow for my taste there, Drad. Drad, why are you coming with an axe? Why are you hunting with an axe? Do not join this hunting party. Spear, 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 spear. Drad, go do something else. Where's Drad? Seriously, go chop trees or something. Come over here. I do not want you jumping in with your axe. 
I'm trying to chop this thing. Four should be enough. We've got him cornered. Okay, let's view. Let's view it. <clears throat> yes! Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. Awesome. You didn't see it coming. That is humanity's greatest strength. Strength in numbers. Community. When we fight, we fight together. You guys know how it is. All right, so you are very cold. You are going in a crazy direction. I don't know what you're doing out here, woman. Oh, you're trying to bring back resources. Okay. Trad, why don't you harvest the bear? Awesome work. That went fast. That went fast. Did anybody take a real beating? A little bit. All right, they're pretty cold. Winter is coming to an end. We need one more point and we will complete the Mesolithic, Paleolithic era, pardon me, and move into the Mesolithic. Spring is, spr spring is sprunging. It's sprunging. <laughs> you can tell. Listen to those rains. Okay, what is your unhappiness stemming from? Lack of food, which you should solve here. Also, you are very tired. Okay, yes, you're happy again. Excellent work. And spring has sprung. All right, let's put people to work on plant gathering. Okay, we just got it. All right, so... Oh, we just got a bunch of points. Excellent stuff, guys. So let's slap down for tomorrow so that we've already got it taken care of. Collect and harvest wild plants. There is a big supply of them out here. And then I click on this. We'll go one, two, three, four. Right. Cave bear attack. I think I think we dealt with that. I think we instigated that. Uh, and should I do another plant gathering one? Or fish? We should be in pretty good, pretty good position for fish. But if I set one up that has access to three, like this, they should be... And I just won't overfish. I'll put maybe two, three people to work there. And we'll see. Wood gathering, we should be good for now. So let's disassemble this. We'll let people focus on flint. Uh, stone, we still have a ton of, even though we haven't been using it. Uh, tool making, how are we doing on this front? Decent, I suppose. Knives, we've got plenty. Wooden spears, I want to get rid of our wooden spears. I'll sell all of those next time. We've got a couple of flint axes. We've got four flint picks. Do I have four people working out here? Five. Okay, perfect. So, we're good. Let's let's do it, guys. Let's zoom in. Milestone unlocked. Survival. Extinction is the rule. Survival is the exception. Boom shakalaka. Okay. And we'll go knowledge, and we will go click to unlock. Boom. Now what? How do you unlock the Mesolithic area? I wonder what needs to be done. Pottery unlocks Mesolithic era. I see. So will that become available to me soon? Do I have to get to 15 knowledge points? I thought by completing each of these, we would do it. Sling making unlocked. Maybe it's about to happen. Production. So sling making is probably just a thing that happens at uh, the crafter. Is that right? All right, so we'll put those into continuous production as well. And let's see, has research unlocked the next one? Population capacity 18, population 11. At some point tomorrow, we will have to figure out how to get into the Mesolithic era. I will make sure I research it and I come prepared. But guys, I think we're going to call it a stream. We've done two hours and 15 minutes of Dawn of Man. So far, very cool. We did a lot of hunting. We have a bunch of people. Check this out. Check out Viri, who is one of our originals. Just chilling by a campfire. We've got totems and poles. We've got all kinds of uh, structures built. Uh, in the next era, we're going to be able to uh, expand. We've got uh, not just people, but we have got dogs. That is coming in the near future. We'll be begin to domesticate new animals. Uh, and, I mean, check that out. Great detail for a game that you're mostly zoomed out in. The animals are really gorgeous looking. That's obviously a predecessor of the wolf. They kind of help guard our camp. They were there when the cave lion attacked. 
but we killed like a good dozen different varieties of animals today. So this was a hunting based stream and it's springtime. So I think the next time we start, this will be a perfect time to begin. So I'm going to go ahead and save and new save. We're going to call it UTC. And I think we'll call it a stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're catching the replay, I will put up links from my first look where we go through the tutorial and a link to the playlist as soon as I have one. And if you guys are watching live or the replay, be sure to tune in tomorrow morning uh, for another one of these streams. I'm going to dedicate the rest of my day to some editing, catching up with my patrons. Hello to Aaron Longstaff. I'm going to be doing some arc build or uh, Atlas building stuff over the weekend. Uh, so I'm very excited to get into that. For those of you guys that joined me tonight, thank you. Um, click on the stuff popping up on your screen. Click the the like button if you enjoyed the video and be sure to let me know in the comments if you're watching the replay if you want to see more i'm pretty much set on bringing you more so far so good i really dig it thank you for watching guys and i will see you again soon